I've opened Numbers and chosen New. This brings me to the Template Chooser. I'm going to choose just a plain blank template and click Choose. I just want to make that smaller so that it fits better on the video. When the spreadsheet opens, it's probably already selected cell B2. And so now you can put a starting date in that cell. You can put it in perhaps in the form of 1 slash 1 slash 2012, or there are other formats you could use as well. Now I want to make sure that that's a date, so I come back and I select that cell. Don't worry if it changes like that. Come to the View menu and choose Show Inspector. Click on the number 42 here, the Cells Inspector, and I'm going to choose a cell format of date and time. I don't want a time in particular, but I want to choose how I want my date to appear. There are quite a lot of choices. I like this format here. I'm going to make that a little larger so that it's easier to see. I'm just going to set it to a larger size font that I like. And I'll make the column a little wider so that it all fits. Now I've got my basic thing. I can also come to the View menu, Show Inspector, come to the um, Graphic Inspector here, and do things like choose a colour, perhaps for the cell background, and other things like that. Now what I want though is a whole year's worth of dates rather than just one date. If you hover over the little dot in the corner of that cell, you'll find that you can drag down and notice that the cursor changes to a solid black plus sign with a white outline. And as I drag down, look what happens. It actually fills the dates in sequence. Now there's a little bit of a problem though because when I made the spreadsheet it came with 45 cells and that isn't enough. We need 365 for a normal year or 366 for a leap year like this year. Notice that where it says row 45 underneath there is a little grey handle. Now what I can do is just drag that handle down and notice that the window scrolls and there we go, that's enough. Now I can scroll back up to where I was drag filling down with these cells and I can just drag again. OK, that took a few moments, but now I've filled in every day for this year. If they don't quite fit, I can make that column a little wider. And now I'm going to come back here to the top, to the header row, where again I can change my font if I want to. And I can give that column a name. And then I can name other columns as well with whatever I need. And now I can simply go ahead and fill in the individual cells for each date.